Hi everybody. I uh, I hope this video works out. I'm just trying to change things around a little bit. Um, this is a... Uh, I'm not sure how things are gonna... I'm just using a different camera than all the other videos on my YouTube channel. Just trying something a little different. So, you know, if it's a success, it is. And if it isn't, it isn't. Anyway, this is a knife I want to show that... Um, uh, probably put maybe I'll put something in the uh, description I'm gonna uh, elaborate just a little bit on what this knife is I'm a member of the custom knife collectors Association otherwise known as the CKCA and a um, matter of fact myself and uh, a good buddy of mine were two of the first members when it was formed I even forget now um, 10 or 11 or 12 years ago I, I kind of forget but anyway I'm one of the oldest members in it and was asked to join initially by the co-founder Larry Bailey and a buddy of my name Pete Crowell and I were two of the first members anyway um, each year at the blade show in Atlanta on the night before the blade show opens on Friday morning which would be Thursday night we have our annual banquet the CKCA banquet and it's a it's a group of knife buyers knife collectors knife makers purveyors um, magazine people you know just like-minded knife enthusiasts to get together and and uh, tell stories so each year um, a small number of usually like four or five or six knife makers volunteer to make a knife to bring to the banquet and uh, they get laid out on a table off to the side and over the course of the over the course of the banquet anybody interested in buying one of those knives can put their name in a jar like each each knife would have a jar and the knife maker has a price on it I mean it's a specified price and all the money goes to the maker um, but people can, if they're interested, want to buy this knife, they would write their name on a piece of paper and, you know, here would be a jar. They put their name in the jar. And at the end of the banquet, a name gets pulled out of the jar and that person gets the opportunity to buy that person's knife. So anyway, um, I was asked and volunteered this year to make a hunter for the CKCA banquet. Well, we all know the situation of things with our shutdowns and COVID-19, it's unlikely that there's even going to be a blade show. So what may happen is all these knives are still made for the banquet by the makers. So there's going to be a handful of knives that may end up in a virtual CKCA banquet offering of these knives. Now, so there's not only going to be this one, but another you know, four or five other knives from other makers. Um, and as far as I know at this point, so as to keep it in the, you know, in the vicinity of reality, the offering is only going to be made to members of the CKCA. If you have any interest in um, joining an organization or having an opportunity to, to, work closely with knife makers the ckca would be right down your alley now i'm seeing for some reason this camera is going out of focus and i don't know why that is okay now we're kind of back in focus anyway i'm learning a little bit about this so you can join the ckca it's custom knife collectors association go to that website i'm maybe i'll put the link down here in the bottom of the video to that website and you can join the CKCA and it's you know it's just another thing to join right but it's a pretty cool deal anyway this is a knife this is a sheath I made out of literally just a, it's kind of not the best looking piece of leather I just grabbed something I was doing an experiment you can see that it's, it's lined it's um, one of the first sheaths I've ever lined um, and I was just kind of experimenting and I'll be darned if because I also wanted to wet mold the leather with the with the lining sewn in place and it worked out pretty decent so anyway it's a kind of rugged looking we'll call it that and this is the knife it's a Sanmai Hunter um, you can see my my Sanmai it's a 1095 
1095 tool steel core. You can see the core with a jacket of, this is 416 stainless on the two sides, hot blued guard. I didn't even clean this up for this video or my hands or anything. And just a really spectacular piece of, check that out. Look at all, this is end grain spalted maple that just is all over the place. God, I just love it. And so it's just solid as a brick because a stabilizing agent is able to go instead of being end grain, it can soak in just a lot in either side because it's only got to go so far in the grain. Um, and I have a, this is a decorative, it's a finial cover. It's not the physical thing that holds it together, but I chose that this is a piece of, the black is a piece of um, carbon fiber with a stainless 256 socket head cap screw, and I thought the black and the silver picked up this black and silver quite nicely. Um, I got stuff all over this guard. When it's black, you can see it, right? Pretty easy, but anyway. This is Sand My Hunter. And I'll do a quick takedown. I have not had this thing apart since I since I officially put it together now that I think about it. Here's the uh, 256 screw. Should work out pretty good. And that piece of carbon fiber is a pretty tight friction fit in that hole. So I actually use the screw and kind of wobble and wobble and pull this thing out. And just about got it. There it is. There's our little piece of carbon fiber. And down in there somewhere is the actual... And I brought the wrong Allen wrench, didn't I? Oh, it doesn't surprise me. We'll try this one. 530 seconds. 530 seconds Allen wrench. There we go. Ooh, nice. I really like how this thing went together. Um... And now it's on the floor, so I got to go back over there and pick it up. Anyway, here's our. I got an alarm going off for some reason, and I know what it's for. Hang on. Okay. Here is our. There we go. Here's our. God, that's beautiful. I can't get over that. And we gotta see if we can get an idea of our. Of course, when the handle's screwed on there, things tighten up quite a bit. But this is this is our hot blue guard, our tang, and I just forge the tang out of the out of the sand mai and draw the tang out. And that's a good way to test your wells on sand mai is do some vertical upsetting, and I squeeze my ricasso down and. Use a power hammer to draw out my tang and and uh, thread the thread the tang for the finial. And if there's any bad welds, that's a good way to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So anyway, there's our sand my hunter, hot blued guard, mild steel guard. Come on, there we go. Rocking piece of stabilized maple. Mm. That might have come from my old buddy Pete. I gotta go get that wrench now. Well, kind of fell over here. All right. There we go. There's that. Put our finial on. And this little screw is threaded right into the finial and countersunk into the carbon fiber. So anyway, there we go. Anderson Forge, Sand My Hunter, Hot Blued, Hardware, Takedown, Stabilized Maple, CKCA Banquet Offering. You know, it's uh, you guys could join in a little bit. Can I zoom in on that? I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. 
I hope you guys are safe and well, and let's hope we all get out of this together. Take care.